Hi there, Virgos. Welcome to your weekly tarot reading. So, um, I feel like the major emphasis and focus for this week is all about your communication, being able to be very persuasive without being domineering, and、um, I also feel being able to persuade people with facts rather than manipulation. Okay, a lot of the times、um, when we want somebody to kind of do things、um, that we think they should do. And we kind of justify it by saying, "Oh, you know, it, it's for their better good. It, it's for their greater good, or it's for their best interest." And we might be in a position where we kind of spin the truth, or omit truths, or you know,、um, spin a situation so that it、um, it skews other people's perception in a specific direction, and that is manipulation. So I feel like. This energy is coming in with both of these spreads, so you want to be a little bit careful about your intentions, and you want to be a little bit, you know, mindful about not infringing on people's free will. And even if they make decisions that you don't agree with, it's really important to provide the whole truth so that other people can, you know, make informed, enlightened decisions. Okay.、Um, When it comes to your romantic sector, I feel like you're dealing with a partner who you consider to be kind of like the pillar of、uh, stability. Okay, you have a really, really stable romantic partner、uh, in your life that you're either coupled up with or somebody that you、um, you are thinking about heavily or you're really in love with.、Um, the person shows up as the Ten of Pentacles, so this is their energy. And what it denotes to me with this Ten of Pentacles is、um, someone who's very, very career oriented. They're very family oriented as well. They keep in touch with their extended family members. You know, grandparents,、um, parents,、uh, nieces and, and nephews, aunts and uncles. So it's somebody that comes from a large family, and they take family roles and relationships very, very, very seriously. And in a way, I feel like they are very mindful of other people's faults, but they don't hold grudges against other people, and they have this enlightened、um, belief that you know we're all humans. We're we're all prone to be,、uh, making mistakes, so I'm not going to hold it against the other person. So I feel like from this person, their energy is very open. They're very loyal. And very dependable, and I feel like that sense of loyalty extends to family members. So, if you're dealing with them, if it's a crush or if it's even a partner, you want to be very careful about not nitpicking, you know, their family members, because I feel like this really fiercely loyal type of person who might not take well to、uh, criticisms about their. Their family members, granted, you know they they、um, they might have flaws, but I feel like this person is very deeply protective, and they're very deeply loyal to their family unit. And I also feel like if you are dating this person, they're fiercely, fiercely、uh, loyal to you. I don't sense、um, possessiveness. I don't sense control issues, but I do feel like this is a person that doesn't、um, take relationships lightly, and they might not have.、Um, Dated around a lot, so I feel like somebody who's a late bloomer, somebody who you know uh, uh, really believes in the institution of marriage, and they're a little bit more old school, a little bit more traditional. And、uh, I feel like you know they they do want to embody the traditional gender roles or the traditional family value, where one person is the breadwinner, the other person takes care of the kids. It might not be as old school and as archaic as that, but I feel like. Deeply, they're very, very entrenched in the past, and they are very reliable, a really good provider. Somebody that has、uh, property, somebody that、um, even works in the financial industry. Okay,、um, I also feel if you are well, this is your energy coming to the table. This is how your partner views you. You show up here as the King of Wands, and your energy is you take good care of yourself. You work out. You dress well. You're,、um, you know, you're mindful about the way that you look. You have a public persona about you as well, where you might have to give presentations. You might have to, you know, lead the way. You might be in charge of people. You might be a leader in your own right, and you're someone who.、Um, 
It's like you're you're a major player in your industry, in your field, in your field of expertise. You have a lot of knowledge, and you're kind of like that career climber,、uh, where your position is very set, and you're due for promotions next year, and then the year after that. So you're very, very financially established, and they like the fact that you know you get things moving for yourself. You don't sit there and wait for opportunities. You're very proactive about getting out there. This is also feeling a lot of passion towards. Another person. This is somebody who's protective, who's caring, who's nurturing. They don't overstep their boundaries, though. And in general, it indicates to me a lot of passion and chemistry、um, that you are bringing to the table towards another person. If you are dealing with an Earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn, I feel like there might be、um, communication issues coming into the picture, and、um, your partner might be very slow to act. You know, with the nature of the Ten of Pentacles, is that they're very, very methodical. They're very risk averse. They don't like to take unnecessary risks. They don't like to deviate from their routine and their norms, and they don't really—they're、um, not impulsive, not very spontaneous. And I feel like you're trying to get a lot of things moving, and this person is kind of dragging their feet. And as a result of it, I feel like there might be, you know, communication issues coming in through here with the Three of Swords, which is、uh, harsh words being exchanged, possibly a separation, or even thinking about like、um, arguments between couples that re-、uh, can relate to, you know, the silent treatment, or like that can、um, that can result in one person withdrawing because they're hurt. So be very, very mindful about how we communicate because the King of Wands. It's someone who's very proactive, but they can be very a little bit forceful. Okay,、um, if you're dealing in particular with Earth signs, I feel like you know want to tone down on the teasing and the communication, and make sure you communicate from a space where your understanding of of their slowness to act that you're also you know a little bit more. Understanding of their willingness or or their、uh, unwillingness for change, okay, to make like rapid sweeping change in their lives. They see you as someone who's able to implement. You know, it's like you you don't talk about things; you just do them. You don't sit there and say like, "Oh, here are my plans." You know, you just get things done. And I feel like your partner is not on the same time frame as you, and it can be a little bit frustrating. Um, I see as well a lot of like missed opportunities between you and a crush. Okay, so we have here the Five of Cups. This is what I call like the Heartbreaker card. It's somebody who can be seen as a little bit flirtatious. They are very very friendly, but their attention is not exclusive to one person, or at least they're not really aware of how other people perceive them. So I feel there's an element here about you know harsh words being exchanged.、Um, Feeling that sense of regret and feeling that sense of like、um, I shouldn't have said that, or you know he or she should not have said that to me. So it can create a little bit of an estrangement between two people. And we also have the devil energy coming through here, which indicates I feel like for some of you who are not in a、um, well, you could be in a committed relationship. You're dealing with another person that might have、uh, entanglements elsewhere. Okay, so they might have a family. They might have.、Um, you might find out this week, like somebody you're interested in is already in another relationship. If they've been flirting with you hardcore, then you know,、um, I feel like you're gonna put a stop to that. I don't see third party meddling, but I do feel like there's a presence of third parties, and it's indicated with the Ten of Pentacles, which is a family card, as well as the Devil, which indicates really strong attraction to another person, but it's not really seeing the light of day here with the Three of Swords, mainly because somebody is、uh, engaged, married in another relationship, or you know, coupled up with somebody else, or they have other arrangements that's disallowing you to come to them, or disallowing them to come forward to you, and for the two. Of you to come together and date.、Um, the other areas that I'm going to touch on here is I feel like for many of you, there's、um, a sense of like self-consciousness,、um, like、um, being self-conscious, feeling、um, like anxiety, and and、um, and I feel like it's it's in the realm of public speaking. Okay, many of you have. High levels of education. So I feel like the majority of people who are watching this, 
you guys have like a high level of education and it's indicated here with the um magician this is somebody i i feel like you know it's somebody who has a uh, mastery over many subjects so you might have a master's degree you might have a PhD you might have a bachelor's degree you might have multiple certificates you have might have multiple degrees and I feel almost like you're trying to find ways in which to um, make use of all your skills okay and you're trying to as well I feel reach out to um, a larger demographic um, you're trying to reach out to a larger group of people and what i'm sensing is with this world card i feel like there's a lot of hesitation even though you are a major player in your field i feel like there's hesitation and reservation from your end about public speaking about pe speaking out about being center stage about you know having all eyes on you it can make you feel a little bit uncomfortable and i mentioned before with virgo people you're very good at working behind the scenes and letting somebody else shine under that spotlight you're not a um, an attention hog you know but I also feel like you're thrust into some type of a new work situation where your ability to speak, your ability, be, uh, excuse me, your ability to uh, be very eloquent with your speech, to be very concise with your communication and to be very articulate. Somewhat like um, if it's interpersonal relationship, you do just fine. But if it's in a large group setting, um, you know, the, the anxiety sets in and self-consciousness sets in and you're not able to convey the messages to the best of your capabilities. And I feel like you might be beating yourself up over it. Rehearse, rehearse, rehearse. Okay, rehearse so that everything flows naturally and so that you're not... Um, you're not scrambling at the last minute, just rehearse. It does wonders for you, okay? So I see that element coming through where there's like um, anx social anxiety or even like public speaking, fear of public speaking and things like that. Um, I feel for many of you, there are, um, it's like um, making decisions with another person, trying to decide. And I feel like it's, it's heavily work focused, okay? I see a lot of work trips, a lot of travel and movement happening for you guys as well. And I feel some of you are um, finishing up something, like possibly publishing. You're trying to get people to publish it, or you are trying to attend like conferences where you have to, you know, talk about what you just published. And then I also feel people um, finishing up something, possibly finishing up with school, and then uh, traveling to, you know, for job interviews, traveling to try to find financiers or, or funding for some type of project. Um, it's going to be a very busy week, but I see this big element about you rubbing um, elbows with people that are also major players in their field and they're going to be able to give you a lot of assistance, a lot of technical expertise, and it's going to really um, help you overcome a lot of these issues, okay? So I hope the reading is helpful for you guys, Virgos. Um, take care of yourself and I'll be back next week, okay? Bye-bye.